All right, this is Miss McGee. I'm here to talk to you about adding and subtracting polynomials for um, just a minute. Um, and before I talk to you about adding and subtracting polynomials, I do want to talk to you for a second about um, what we call like terms because you need to understand what like terms are in order to understand how to add or subtract polynomials. So like terms means that I have the same base and the same exponent. The number in front could be different, but, but the, the base that the exponent is hooked to, as well as the exponent itself, are the same. If that is true, then you have what we call like terms. Now it's important to understand with polynomials that we can only add like terms, or we can only add or subtract. So we can only combine like terms. And to do this, we simply combine the coefficients, okay? We don't mess with the base, we don't mess with the exponents. We combine the coefficients here and then leave the base and the exponent alone. Leave the base. So, um, if I'm looking, if I were to add these two up here that I used as an example, the 5x squared and negative 3x squared, if I wanted to add those together, what I would want to do is I want to combine the coefficients that sit in front, so that is 5 and negative 3. That would give me, I'm out of room here, 2. And then I leave that base and that exponent there as I combine. So those are combining terms, and polynomials are made up of a lot of different terms. So what I want to do is show you a couple examples of adding and then subtracting to help you as you, um, you work through these problems. Um, as I, if I'm to add, let's say I have 5x to the third plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 2. And I, to that, I want to add 10x squared plus 4x minus 3. So what I want to do, I want to make sure I recognize that the sign in the middle, it's, it is adding. So what I'm really going to do is just combine all like terms because addition is commutative, and I can do that in any order that I want. What I'm going to do, because in general, we keep um, standard form is to go from highest exponent to lowest. So I'm going to start with the biggest exponent I see here, which is a power of 3. And I'm going to just quickly scan over and see if I see any others that are a power of 3, and I don't. So I'm going to write that on its own. So now I'll move on to a power of 2. So I have a positive 6x squared here and I have a 10x squared here. So together, I could add those and get positive 16x squared. And I tend to cross mine out whenever I've, I've used them, so I know I'm done with them. I've already combined them and they don't get in my way of anything else. So now I'm gonna move on to the x's, in which case I do. I've got a negative 4x and a positive 4x, which conveniently enough, negative four and four give me zero, so this cancels out for me. Constants, I have a 2 and a negative 3, which I can add together to get negative 1. And I have now added these polynomials together. Now, let's take these same two polynomials, and instead of adding them, let's subtract them, because this is where it starts getting a little stickier. So I've got 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 2. And I'm going to subtract from that 10x squared plus 4x minus 3. So you're going to find that a lot of these steps are going to overlap. And that's a good thing that helps us out. What I want to do and is subtract. And, and you have to keep this in mind as you go. You're not just subtracting the first term. You're subtracting everything in this set of parentheses. So as I go through and look, I want to make sure, instead of saying that I want to add the terms together, I want to make sure that I'm telling myself, hey, I am subtracting here. So again, start with your biggest, and I'm going to look. 5x cubed is my biggest, 
and I don't have any other. So again, that's my, that's my um, starting term here. Now, for my powers of 2, I have 6x squared and 10x squared, but again, I'm not adding them. What I'm essentially doing is 6x squared minus 10x squared, because I want to make sure, instead of saying plus, in the middle of each one, I've got this minus sign. So 6x squared minus 10x squared would give me negative 4x squared, and again, I'm done with these two terms. On to the x's, I have negative 4x, and I have positive 4x. Again, though, I'm not adding them this time. I'm saying negative 4x squared minus 4x squared. Well, negative 4 minus 4 would give me negative 8. Oh, and I'm sorry, that's not a squared. That's just an x. I do apologize. Negative 8. All right, done with the x terms. Now on to the constants. I have 2 and I have negative 3. And again, I'm going to have 2, not plus, but minus. Keep the sign, negative 3. If you subtract a negative number, that's like adding a positive. So I get a plus 5. And so adding and subtracting polynomials is just that easy. It is a matter of combining your like terms and putting them together.